Hi everyone, welcome to yet another video for Philips Take On DDS CAD. In this particular video, I will address the subject of modeling following sloped surfaces. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! First thing to do is to continue drawing this uh, exhaust pipe and follow this um, wall height. Uh, to know the, this wall height, I will use the function measure between two points. And if I click here, click here, we see it has 1.3 meters. Now I can go back here and continue drawing the pipe. Here, a small pipe segment. And now go up with a bend and the absolute height will insert 1.3 meters. And I'll press escape to see the result in 3D. Okay, pretty decent. Now, I want to follow the slope of this roof to a certain height, and then I will cross the roof. The roof angle in this case is 30 degrees. I will start the pipe again with no relative height because I just want to insert a new band at the same height. So I'll click OK and I'll insert a band going to, uh, as a rotation to the left. And I want to follow the same slope, which is 30 degrees. So 90 minus 30, we get to 60 degrees. I will click OK and I'll give a new absolute height to a certain height uh, that I want to get, which is 3.1. Okay, so we see here a distance from the rigid height, which it's pretty okay for me. Now, DDS-CAD opens the band dialog again. I will insert a new band of the same uh, angle, 60 degrees, going up. And now to cross the roof, I will insert a relative height, so I will go up 60 centimeters and I will end with this option of end pipe with a symbol which has been defined with a roof air bleed valve DN130 yep this is absolutely what I would like to have and if we turned off the transparency or wireframe that I have defined to to see under the roof, we see this end result. If you liked this video, share it. If you have any questions or suggestions, put your comment below and we get back to you. Cheers!